In this video, I'm going to show you how to create schedules and use server mode. What this allows you to do is automatically generate images on a predetermined schedule sitting in your system tray unattended and then either save those images locally to your hard drive or upload them to your website through FTP. Now, this is only available if you have a professional or greater account. If you are a standard or free user, this is not available to you. If you do have the proper account status, you just go up to server mode and you click modify schedule. If you have any already pre-designed, they will list in this area. To create a new one, you just click design and add a new map. Now this tells you exactly how to do it, but I'm just going to summarize. Uh, what it's basically telling you to do is create the map you want. You can create a radar image, a satellite image, a forecast graphic, current condition graphic, uh, something with multiple overlays, whatever you like. You, then you also set your zoom level so that you're zoomed in on the part of the country that you want. Make sure that you've got your counties and cities turned on or off the way you want them, the colors, line thicknesses, etc. You set all that up ahead of time and then once you have the map that you want to add you just click the button below and that takes you to step two. Step two allows you to set the size of the image, its width and height, the quality of the image. If you want to create duplicates at different sizes such as if you wanted to create thumbnails automatically uh, you could set them all up in here. Now I don't want to create any additional images. I'm just going to do an 800 by 600 image 100% quality. You can select the format. You can save it in ping, JPEG, GIF, bitmap, or TIFF. I suggest you use ping. PNG, that is going to be probably your smallest file size with the best quality. Uh, the update type is going to depend on what kind of graphic you have. Right now I have a radar image, so I'm going to select radar image. If I wanted to do a loop of radar, I would select radar loop. If you wanted to do a radar loop, you would probably use GIF and then select radar loop. And then in the next field, you would select how many images in that loop. If you select 10, for example, it will save 10 images. And as a new image is created, the previous images are renamed so that uh, you constantly have the last 10 most recent images. Then you select a file name. I'm just going to call it radar.gif. If it's a loop, it will append that with underscore loop and a number. You can select if you want uh, a companion text file saved with this. And what that'll do is that'll save things like the uh, what's in the label, Next Ride Radar updated at 1032. You can save a world file for the map so that the edges of the map are saved in a file so that if you wanted to import it into a GIS program, it could be calibrated to fit on there. And you can also zip up the files before they're uploaded. Once you're done with your settings, you hit the button for the next step. And here you can either select to save those to your hard drive. And if you do that, then you select the Save To button and you find where you want to save those files or you can uncheck that and you can save to an FTP location. This information you'll have to find out from your ISP uh, or your uh, website host but it's probably something like blah blah dot com your directory is probably public underscore HTML Remember that you should put leading and trailing slashes in this field. And then, of course, if there's a subdirectory, you can put that in there. And then your username and password. Now, if this information is incorrect and you hit finish, it will tell you that the FTP failed. Uh, if it did not fail, it will just go ahead and come up with this screen. And this gives you a rundown of all of the items that you have scheduled. If you want to delete these items, you select them in, hit the delete button, and that'll delete it for you. 
You can also select to remove the F5 data logo from images or put a custom logo of your own on the images. If you wanted to do that, you just make sure that the height is around 40 pixels for best results and then browse your computer to find the image that you want to put on there. When you're done with this, you X out of this window and just remember to turn server mode on. You can see that's checked. And then when you minimize your program, down in the lower right you'll have the red F sitting in your system tray. You can right click that and you can show the program to bring it back up again.